Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on Advanced Spanning Tree. This lesson focuses on Layer 2 Security. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to configure port security, violation modes, and MAC address types. Describe DHCP snooping, DAI, and IPSG. Configure 802.1x port-based authentication. Describe various security attacks and the steps to mitigate them. List the general switch security guidelines. Let us start our discussion with port security. The switch forwarding process shows that addresses are dynamically learned. This means that potentially any device can connect to your switch. This is not secure. Enabling port security can protect switch interfaces from being used maliciously. Port security cannot be configured on a port underlying an Ether channel. By default, port security is disabled. The default maximum number of secure MAC addresses is 1. This means that only one device can be attached to one switch interface. Although this is the case most often, however, when VoIP is used, often the phone and the PC are connected on the same switch port. Then two MACs are required, one for the phone and one for the PC. By default, if there is an attempt to associate more than the configured number of MAC addresses to an interface, a violation occurs and the port is shut down. Sticky address learning is also disabled. The port security aging is disabled, with the aging time as zero and the aging type as absolute. In the next slide, let us learn how to enable and disable port security.